Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. There is a message that I want to share with you guys and the message reads like this. Hello my brother, how are you? Can you please post for me as hidden identity? I am a man who grew up in a very poor neighborhood. When I look at my life, it was like God created me to be a ritualist because if God was full of mercy, why didn't he feel sorry for my parents? Because as for my father, he was one who was a very prayerful man, but whenever he would try to pray, then I would see that no matter how hard he had tried, things would even get worse. There were many times when my father would go out just to pray. Pray, but when he would come back, the same situation that he had left, it would be the same situation that he would find waiting for him. And I don't know indeed if prayers work, because when I think about my father's story, maybe prayers do not work at all. Growing up in a poor neighborhood, when I was able to fend for myself, it was like my parents just said, go out there and try and to look for anything that is going to give you money and after that thing has given you money then you will buy some food so that we can have something to eat my father and my mother they were both domestic workers and they were working for a family that was heavily involved in rituals I took interest in money-making rituals after I had seen my father's boss entering into that room that I was sleeping with his son. There was one time when my father's boss had asked my father that he should bring me to his workplace because my father's boss, there was this other place where he wanted to go. I don't know if it was a business trip or what, but one of his sons, me and his son, we were both the same age so my boss had asked my father that i should stay behind with his son we were all alone my brother in a very big house i don't know how many rooms it had but it was quite a very big house it had a downstairs and it had an upstairs and my boss's son from the moment that we were left all alone it seemed as if he was always afraid of something in the house what he was afraid of i really don't even know because when we were all left alone we then started watching the tv but he was very nervous as the evening was fast approaching as we were watching the movie then my boss's son told me that we had to drag one of the couches and we had to place it hard against the wall i then asked him why was it even necessary for us to drag one of the couches so that it can be leaning against the wall then he said i prefer that a spiritual creature if it is going to attack you then it will attack you from the front it seemed as if there was something that was going to get into the house then it will approach us and attack us whilst we were watching tv Anyway, he was the man of the house, so I agreed. Then we dragged the couch so that it was leaning against the wall. Then we started watching TV. We watched the TV until maybe it was somewhere around 9 p.m. Then we made sure that all the doors were locked and he made several plans. He said that if the electricity would go out then we were supposed to light the generator at their place they had a generator then he said if the generator was going to run out then we were supposed to light some torches that he had throughout the night it seemed as if he didn't want to sleep in the dark he was afraid of the dark but anyway i was just following around and i was really excited because in my life i had never seen so much food as the food that i had seen as we were busy going around each and every time that we would be in the kitchen opening up the two freezers that they had in their kitchen so i didn't even care if there was a ghost or anything at he so I didn't care if there was a ghost or anything in that house. All that I cared about was the food and nothing else. My brother, when it was time for us to go to bed, we locked the kitchen door. Because for you to get access into this house, you had to go through first the kitchen. When we locked the kitchen, I remember that 
we left the key by the kitchen door so that no one would be able to open up the door from the outside. Then we went to bed. When we went to bed, since I had eaten so much, I struggled to sleep until I felt like there was something like something very dark that had covered the whole house. That was when I fell asleep. But as soon as I had fallen asleep, I then felt that there was someone who was entering into that room that I was sleeping in. So I woke up. But the way that I woke up, I only managed to open my eyes because that darkness felt as if it was holding my whole body against the bed. When I opened my eyes, to my surprise, I saw my father's boss. He was entering into that bedroom that me and his son, we were sleeping. When I wanted to speak with him, immediately I saw a hand. I don't know where this hand came from. It just covered my mouth so that I could not sleep so that I could not speak. All that I wanted to ask my father's boss was how had he managed to get inside the house and how had we not managed to hear him parking his car. He was driving quite a noisy car, so he had entered into that bedroom that we were both sleeping, me and his son, and he was naked, and he was holding an empty pot. This was a metallic black pot, this metallic black pot, my brother, it was like it had been taken from a fire because it was blazing hot underneath. Then he placed that black metallic pot on the ground. Then he turned around. He only looked at me once. Then he ignored me and he turned around. When he went, my brother, I fell asleep. The same thing happened again. This time around, it was somewhere around 3 a.m., I looked at the watch that was on the wall. I looked at the clock that was on the wall. It was somewhere around 3 a.m. That was when sleep paralysis hit me again and I felt that darkness entering into that room. After the darkness had entered into that room, I felt that there was someone who was pressing me hard against the bed and I could not even move my body. Then my father's boss walked again into that bedroom where me and his son were sleeping. When he walked into the bedroom, he was walking backwards. The whole scenario that was happening, it was quite confusing at me. When he had reached the place where he had placed that pot, he lifted that pot, my brother, and he lifted it without even looking at it. And he didn't even turn around. He did all of these things whilst he was walking backwards. Then he walked again out of his son's bedroom. Then he went away. When we woke up the following morning, this whole dream, I had forgotten about it because 